Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to show you guys my new bath product range that I have just started on my website at TillyAndHerBooks.com I am very excited to show you guys this. I actually released these bath bonds for sale about a week ago. And it's been quite a journey from beginning to end, from learning how to make these bath bombs to actually wanting to sell them to you guys and to come up with the ideas and packaging and everything like that. It's been very, very exciting and I have put a lot of work into doing this and I really want to show you guys. So as for the actual bath bombs, they're all Australian made, vegan friendly and handmade by me and packaged by me as well and sent by me as well. And they're pretty, pretty great if I can say so myself. So this one here is the Hufflepuff bath bomb. The fragrance in this one is Lemon Sweet Maya which is just like really happy and fluffy and it just kind of wraps you like a warm blanket. Now these bath bombs are really big. They probably go between 250 grams up to 300 grams per bath bomb and for that that means that you can use them for two baths if you can break them in half or just have one really great colorful bath as well. Because they are so full of like great products inside of them sometimes they do sink to the bottom of the bath but they still overall give you this bubbly foamy and colorful bath that you guys will enjoy. <sighs> So I have five Hogwarts themed bath bombs, which is the Four Houses and a Dementor themed bath bomb. So as for the overall packaging, this is what they look like. They come in their little boxes with the Hufflepuff label on the top with the ingredients. Then you open them up and it has it in plastic wrap, the actual bath bomb itself. Hufflepuff where they are just and loyal. They also just have the shred of paper in the bottom to keep a little bath bomb safe for shipping. Then we also have the Slytherin one. I myself am a Slytherin, so I really enjoy this bath bomb. The scent for this one is sandalwood vanilla. And I really, really enjoy it. So on this one, it says Slytherin. These cunning folks use any means to achieve their ends. And that is the color of that one. Next up is Ravenclaw. This is probably one of my favorite ones in the bath just because the blue of this bath bomb in the water is so fantastic. So this one says Ravenclaw. If you're a ready mind where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. So this one also has the grey and the blue of the Ravenclaw colours, and like I said, the blue is just fantastic. So the scent of Ravenclaw is energy, which is this really vibrant and outdoorsy smelling bath bomb, and it kind of just wakes you up when you're in the bath. And for the last Hogwarts house, we have a Gryffindor. So this one says, Gryffindor, where dwell the brave of heart? And the red of this one is once again spectacular. I really do like the yellow and the red combined together. And in the bath, it's just got one of the best scents ever, which is honey ale. And one of my all-time favorite bath bombs that I have actually created is the Dementor bath bomb. What I really like about this bath bomb is that with the fragrances that I picked for this, it uses aromatherapy with jasmine scents to help the person in the bath kind of relax and renew. And I think that's one of my favorite things about the Dementor one is when you feel like the life is getting sucked out of you, you can relax with this aromatherapy bath bomb. And it is really, really hard to get the darkness of the bath bomb in this colour. It kind of looks more like a darker grey, but once it's in the bath, the black just goes... And it just looks really, really cool. So in this one it says, The Dementor will feed on you long enough to reduce you to something like itself. Soulless and evil. What I have also done for people who are like me and have baths all the time and would like for a cheaper alternative for these products, I have actually put them into bath bomb sachets. So these sachets are about 500 grams or more. It really just depends on how full these bags can go. And with these ones, they instant when you put them in the bath, they will just kind of, the color will seep out and the bubbles will immediately go. And you can get more uses from these. And they only cost, I think, $12.50, whereas the bath bombs are $9.50. And you just get a lot more in there. So you have the Dementor one, the Gryffindor one, the Slytherin one, the Ravenclaw one, and the Hufflepuff one. So some of the other bath products that I have on the website is the Maze Runner. This is a limited edition bath bomb. I have it in the bath dust and in the bath bomb as well. Once they with the bath dust, you get more for your value. And this one has Eden's Garden Scent, which is a very earthy and gardeny smell, which is just really, really nice. And lastly, for the next bath bomb that I have on the website is the Tilly and Her Books bath bombs. So this is the bath dust here, which is this wonderful purple powder. And then then we also have the bath bomb, which comes in not only the purple color like that, which is a purple edition one, but also the striped blue and pink. And this one's had the plumeria scent, which is basically frangipani. I don't want to be totally biased, but that one's probably one of my favorite ones as well. Not just because it's my bath bomb though. So there you guys have all the bath products I currently have available on the site. Unfortunately, the shipping from anywhere outside of Australia is not the best. I have really tried to find the cheapest option available, but the best that I could do was what is on the website. I do have it on my fact page what the shipping costs are for inside of Australia and international shipping as well so you guys can go and check them out. I will leave a link to the actual website below so you guys can go take a look and I'd really really appreciate your help when it comes to starting this business off and any feedback that you guys have to give.
I would also really love if you guys gave me feedback on different bath bomb ranges that I can do next. I do want to be able to do one that is to do with um, a cordathon and roses, maybe like the night court themed bath bombs. And I'm also really excited because I want to do a Percy Jackson themed one that goes for all the different gods as well, which I think would be really, really cool. But I would love to have your thoughts on which ones you guys would like to see. I also do custom made bath bombs. All you have to do is shoot me an email and I will try my best to get exactly what product that you guys want. And lastly, if you guys are inside Perth WA where I am from, and you guys would not like to pay shipping, give me an email and we can organize for a pickup or a delivery of these bath products because I'm more than happy to do that. It's taken a lot of effort and time and money and I'm really happy with the way it looks and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Oh, and if you guys do want to buy any of these off the website and have lasted this long into the video, use the code Tilly and her books 10 to get 10% off your order. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Ah. I swear I've actually been cursed with the worst reading club that I have ever encountered. And the worst part about this reading club is that every time I try to force myself to get over it, I get to